Alright guys, uh, welcome back to this uh, huge birthday haul. Um, we just got done going through the stuff that I got for myself, and now this is all the stuff that I got for my good buddy, and this is a guy, he, he's got me a lot of really nice stuff in the past, like these posters over here, like Batman Forever Candyman, the Punisher split poster over there, and things like that. I mean, this guy has got me a lot of stuff throughout the years. Um, just a lot of really nice stuff, and uh, he dropped off a bit, another two bags of goodies. Uh, I haven't looked at them, I uh, closed my eyes and picked them all out. I tried my best not to look, and I really don't even know what's in, what's what he got me, so we're going to find out. I'm going to do the usual thing where I'm going to reach back and like grab one. So, um, might as well start doing it now. So, let's see, first one here. I think this is one that might have been out of print, I don't know though, but a really fun Fred Ward film, Remo Williams. So it's pretty cool to have this now in my collection, I have, I'm a big fan of the movie. I like Fred Ward, Wilford Brimley, yeah, Remo Williams. For the Wrong Turn collection, I, I, I am the first movie already, so now I now have Wrong Turn 2, Dead End, the unrated cut. Really do enjoy the film. I'm, these were like 1, 2, and 4, the ones I like, 3 and 5, and the other one, and 6, I don't really care for, but I like the first, the second one, and the fourth one. I think this is easily my second favorite of the franchise. Um, I like Henry Rollins. I feel like there's other people in here too. Yeah, Erica Learson, who was in, she was the hitchhiker in the Chainsaw remake. She was in Blair Witch 2. Texas Battle, who I believe was one of the guys in Final Destination 3. He was the guy that, when the swords came down, they popped his head like a balloon in the on the weights from Final Destination 3. I think that's the guy. But, um, wrong turn too. Really cool to have this now. I'll try my best not to look. I don't want to. I don't want to be surprised. Next, for my Sean Penn collection, I think this is a really great movie. Really great drama. Um, but Dead Man Walking. Really good drama directed by Tim Robbins. Also, yeah, it is. Directed by Tim Robbins. You have uh, Susan Sarandon, Sean Penn, Robert Prosky, Harley Ermey, Scott Wilson. Basically about this guy on death row who gets visited by this nerd, by, by this uh, nun. Um, it's a really good drama. Really very well directed by Tim Robbins. So it's really cool to have this now. So thank you so much for this one. Next, pretty cool to have this now for my collection, The Karate Kid. This is the old DVD, um, which I'm fine with because I like this cover, it's the theatrical poster, but uh, what more can I say about The Karate Kid? Classic, so thank you very much for this. Next. Deluxe edition, or the deluxe widescreen edition, or presentation of A League of Their Own. Really great sports movie, great but great baseball movie. Directed by Penny Marshall, the late great Penny Marshall. Tom Hanks, Gina Davis, Madonna, Lori Petty, John Lovitz, Bill Pullman. It's a lot of really good, a lot of really good people on the cast. Again, it's really, really funny, but it's also got some great drama stuff as well. Just a really good movie overall. So thank you very much for this. Thank you very much. Next. 
Vegas Vacation with Chevy Chase. And for the Vacation Collection, I thought this was a pretty decent one. Not as good as the original or Christmas Vacation or European Vacation, but uh, I still think this is a pretty decent movie. I do enjoy the film. Next. Huh. It's the complete collection of the Pokemon, the Orange Island generation. Adventures in the Orange Islands, which is the entire series of the Orange Islands series of episodes in the Pokemon franchise, which is which takes place be, between the um, Kanto region episodes and the Johto region episodes. So it's, and I'm a, I was a big fan of Pokemon growing up as a kid, and I still do love Pokemon to this day. Um, it brings back a lot of childhood memories, but I um, really do enjoy Pokemon. And my buddy knows I'm a big fan of Pokemon. Um, so, so at some point I want to get like the other franchises, like you know the Johto and Kanto, the Advanced Challenge series, but it's pretty cool to have this down for my collection. For the Orange Island episodes, so really cool. Next one is a real bulky one. I don't know what this is. I, I could have swore this thing was out of print. I think it was, but I guess he found I guess he, he said he uh, went to FYE and found a couple things for me. This might have been from the FYE, probably. Wow. This thing is sweet. And I think this is out of print, but... Because I know there's a brand new set of this where it's just like a one DVD case and it's like a swing tray with all the films in there. But this is like the actual box set. So cool to have this. Thank you so much for this. The Leprechaun Pot of Gore collection in the box set. Comes with the first five films of the franchise. Just a really nice set. Really cool first movie, and part two, and part three, part four, part five, and a really nice looking box set. I love the way that the box set is all set up. So cool to have this now. So thank you so much for this. This is amazing. Next, the special collector's edition of Beverly Hills Cop. I personally say probably my favorite Eddie Murphy movie. I love Beverly Hills Cop. The first one's the best one. Really cool to have this now. The 20th anniversary special edition of Police Academy. Really cool. Just so cool to have this now. I'm a big fan of the first Police Academy. Next, for my Sylvester Stallone collection, really cool to have this now. Demolition Man. Easily one of my favorite Stallone films. I love this movie a lot. You also have Wesley Snipes, Sandra Bullock. You have other small roles in here too, like Jack Black, Dennis Leary, among other people. Love Demolition Man. Next. Rub my eye. I think this is the, yeah, this is the first season. Season one of Robot Chicken. Now, if you don't know what Robot Chicken is, it's like a bunch of, like, pop culture references, and they do it in, like, action figures, like stop motion and things like that, or clay stuff, and they make fun of stuff, like pop culture things. Um, I think this is one where Seth Green was involved with this, I think. I don't know. If, I think Seth Green has something to do with this show. I think Robot Chicken. 
So it was really cool to have the first season. Looking forward, because I didn't see all the episodes. I didn't I ever saw the episodes in order, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what season one will have. This has 20 episodes on it, so it's really cool. So season one of Robot Chicken. Next. Um, I do have the film, but it was it was the um, the version you've never seen before, but that one doesn't have many features on it. This one actually has the all-new documentary from, um, from BBC, which I remember watching. It was a really good documentary. I wanted to watch it again, but now it's on this DVD, thanks to my buddy. It's the special edition of The Exorcist. Then the, This is the one that has the um, BBC documentary, which I, thought, which I think is pretty cool. So... Now I have the DVD with the features, and I have the version you've never seen before, so now I have both versions. So, really cool to have this, and I love that special edition gold banner on top. But. Next. To add to my Kurt Russell collection, Overboard. Really fun comedy with him and um, Goldie Hawn. You know, you also have uh, Edward Herman in the film as well. Really fun comedy, Overboard. This one here is, let's see. This is the Five Star Collection DVD of Die Hard, which I do have all the films on Blu-ray, but this actually has a couple features on here that are not on the Blu-ray, so I will definitely keep this because it was, I'll definitely keep it because it was a gift, because it actually has um, some things on here for features that are not on the Blu-ray, so I, I'll gladly take this. It's a really nice looking Five Star Collection DVD, too. Last one here I'm going to show for this part is... Richard Gere film I've never heard of before. I've never seen before, never seen before, but Red Corner. And I like Richard Gere, so I'm looking forward to giving this a look. So, all right, guys, I'm going to stop for part two right here, and I'll see you guys in the next part. It's a lot of stuff.